Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron, which means watch and learn. Currently we are studying about the machine learning algorithms and we are trying to build our intu intuition around it. So today's topic is R squared value and what does that mean? So remember we have this graph here where we have seen how much dollar are we investing as a TV ads and how much sales are we going to improve upon depending on the TV ads and say these are my data points. Okay. So I'm trying to fit a linear model or a straight line through this data. So whatever mistake I made, these are calculated by my loss function that we have seen so far, right? And this is given me by the loss function L. Now, parallelly, we would also like to know how good this model has fit the data. And that is what is given by R squared, okay? And the formula is very straightforward, one minus L, which is my loss function and typically it is the mean squared error divided by the variance in the y value okay which is my output value so you can see here that if I just take the average of my y value then in that case my loss function is equivalent to the y and in that case, my R square value will be 1 minus 1 and that will be equal to 0. Okay. And if my loss function is 0, which implies that my model has very well fit the data, in that case, it will be 1 minus 0 because my loss function is 0. So my R squared value is 1. So that means my R square belongs to 0 and 1. But there can be times when this number could be large enough and your R square could be even negative. Okay, that means your model has performed even poor than just by taking, even by taking the average of the Y value. Okay, that's the simplest thing you can do. What will be your output value? You just take the average, right? And your model has done even, even worse than that. Okay, so whenever your uh, R squared is closer to one, that means your you know model is good enough. And if it is closer to zero, then it's bad. But also, we would like to you know warn you here that R squared itself is not a very good uh, you know statistics to consider while uh, you know doing this data analysis. This is a good only for calculation purpose, but in the real world. It has got some issues that we will see later. So R square is all about knowing how good your model has fit. Now to this context, we would like to also introduce you something called as ANSCOM's quartet. And I would encourage you to read more about it. Okay. And I'll just leave it up to you. And SCOMS quartet shows that that the first degree and second degree statistic is not enough to analyze your data and you have to even plot it uh, to make sure that um, your, your, your data is properly fit. So basically, the, you know what NSCOMS quartet shows is it basically a four diagrams which shows that all of them has the same mean and variance in both the case. but visually they are totally different so that means their r square value would be same but when you plot the data then you can see that the data are actually telling you different stories so the first graph looks something like this and in wikipedia there is a nice article on this and we don't need to know beyond you know what we are going to cover here because it rarely shows up in our problem statement okay so your first variable is here x1 and x2 okay and you can see a very good fit for this kind of data okay all right this is the first figure in the NSCOMS quartet it has certain r square value the second figure looks something like this but the line that fits best also but if you see visually the data is more like a a you know if you have thrown a ball uh, in the x-axis right it looks somewhat like that the third figure looks something like this and because of an outlier your graph would still look the same and this outlier caused it to have the same r squared value but if you see visually they're totally different graph 
and the fourth one looks something like this you know they're all in a vertical line there is one in the out you know very end and then if you try to fit a straight line through that so if you see the four all the four data looks very different that means the relationship between x1 and your x2 the relationships are quite different but mathematically you arrived at the same conclusion the relationship that you found through r square remains the same so that can be sometimes bit tricky in the real world sorry this is x1 so that's why it's very important to plot the data and see the relationship at times okay so i hope you have got a good understanding about r square value thanks for watching and just give a quick you know review of this anscom squared although in practice we don't encounter that much often but i thought it's a good idea to mention it here all right you have a great day